Sydney is better than Melbourne? No, Melbourne is better than Sydney. Stop. Brisbane is the best. Just kidding. Bankstown is the best. You never heard of this city? Check it out real quick. Alright, today I'm telling you everything you need to know about these two cities. Where you should stay, live or travel. Which one is more beautiful? Melbourne has nice museums, galleries, botanic gardens and beaches. St Kilda and Brighton Beach look absolutely amazing. Not to mention you can do a day tour to Great Ocean Road which is gorgeous. Now compare to Sydney. First things came to mind, of course, the Harbour Bridge and Opera House. I mean, look at this. Talking about beaches, Sydney is home to some of the finest beaches in the world. Take a look. I guess we know the winner here. Talking about weather, Melbourne's weather is mm, pretty bad. Four seasons in one day. It can be sunny now and rainy the next minute. Winter tend to be colder in Melbourne than Sydney. Being further north, Sydney has warmer temperatures that more sustained. The winters are mild and rather lovely. It does however rain a whole lot more in Sydney and is more humid than Melbourne, which has more of a dry heat. Yeah, we are not talking about the really bad flood we got this year is horrible. So essentially, if you like sustained heat and you can roll with rainy days, you'll like Sydney weather. If you don't mind the cold so much, Melbourne may be good for you. Which one is more expensive? I have to say Sydney. Yes, it is really, really expensive here. The transportation, the rent, and other stuff. Melbourne got free tram in the city. What does city have? Train strikes? One city central bedroom apartment in Sydney will cost about 2600 and only 1600 in Melbourne. Honestly, both Melbourne and Sydney have excellent food scenes within and outside their city centres. I will say, having spent time living in both cities, I have probably had more bad experience in Sydney than Melbourne. Melbourne's food is amazing. I love how they take it seriously. It's cheaper to eat in Melbourne too. You can easily do on a budget for around like 10 or 15 dollars if you know where to go. Also, brunch and coffee in Melbourne is something Sydney can't compare to. Sydney CBD feels sad and empty in the hours after dark. Some nightclubs is good, but not as great as Melbourne. If you never party in Melbourne, you'll never party in your life. So Sydney, Melbourne, who wins? Well, it really depends on what your lifestyle is. If you like exploring nature, going to night beaches, also like outdoor activities and day trips, Sydney will be the one. But if you prefer cultural, sport, food and nightlife, Melbourne is the best. I think Sydney is a pretty sister with gorgeous look and boring personality. But Melbourne is okay look, but very interesting girl. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe me for more.